All right, so listen, uh, gotta go to Moe's, gotta go to Models. Models Sporting Goods, back in the day, that was their uh, commercial, gotta go to Moe's. But when you walk into Moe's Southwest Grill, they welcome you with, welcome to Moe's, or they should welcome you, uh, welcome to Moe's, a little chant, uh, get you all excited to eat some really good uh, Tex-Mex food. So right here is a burrito, and the name of it, Mo Meat. Mo cheese. I love it. Gonna have queso. You're gonna have double the steak, and it's all in with everything else I got. So that's one of the items. You're also gonna see about four or five new sauces from the folks over at Mo's. So here we go. Let's, uh, I don't know, cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. So right here we have the Mo Meat Mo Cheese Burrito. Uh, it comes with Mo's Famous Queso, double portion of all natural sirloin steak, uh, seasoned rice, black beans that I 86, no beans, shredded cheese, pico de gallo. So I have everything else in there. You could get it in a burrito or a bowl. I think it was around nine or 10 bucks. I'll have to double check. Uh, shout out Ryan. Shout out Ryan and the crew over at my local uh, Mo's. Great customer service. They took time to tell me about this. They took time to describe the sauces and were kind enough to give me all of the samples off camera right here. So shout out uh, to Ryan and the crew. Uh, so right here, um, I got uh, distracted. So I also put lettuce in here. I also put some sour cream and some of the, uh, what is it? Chipotle Southwest Ranch, something like that. So that's what we got going on. Let's open it up. This is uh, aluminum foil. Take me to your leader. Let's go. I'm excited. I've been craving a good burrito. This thing weighs about 35 pounds. Let's go. All right. So like I said, this thing is packed. Check that out. The sun shining through. Wants to get a full look of it. So shout out the uh, burrito artist because this thing was packed. Like I said, double steak with all the uh, other accoutrement, all of the other uh, fillings that are going on. I'm going to give you a cross section of this and we're going to check it out. Mo meat, mo cheese. Here we go. All right, so this cross section looks amazing. Check it out right through the sun. So there it is. Mo meat. Mo cheese, we are about to check it out. And I think there are two new items and they're called the, what are they called? They're called something. They're like a uh, customer requested items and they made them into menu items. Uh, greatest hits, two of their greatest hits. I don't know if this is so much a greatest hits because you're just adding queso, which I hope most people do on a burrito anyway, especially over at Moe's, legit queso. And then you're getting double the uh, steak and double the meat is probably something that a lot of people should do. So I guess this might be the greatest hits because it's something uh, a lot of people out there uh, will do with a burrito. They'll add the queso and double the meat. So here we go, wish me luck again. I love the name. Mo meat, mo cheese. Wish me luck. Yes, please. Mm. 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 Check it out. Excuse me for a minute. This is Moe's personified. Great amount of steak. Mm. So good. All right, so listen, um, a great amount of steak, like I said, got the rice on the other side, all of the other filling that I put inside there. You can add whatever you want. If you like black beans, you like any type of beans, throw the beans in there. Get crazy. Uh, get what you like. This is what I like and I am excited. Uh, double the steak is always a good thing. Double any of the meat. I'll tell you, I normally don't get the steak over at Moe's. It's good, don't get me wrong, but I'm a guy that likes to get the uh, chicken I've always done the reviews whenever they brought out their new chicken. Uh, but here, this came with the steak. I said, let's get it the way it's supposed to come. I mean, it's called Mo Meat Steak Mo Cheese. 
queso, final bite. Mm. Yum. All right, so let's just check out the uh, sauces. I'm gonna go into the two new uh, salsas first. They had a couple new salsas. This one right here is called the Black Cherry Chipotle or the Chipotle Black Cherry. I'm pretty sure uh, that's what it said. I got some nice uh, B-roll of all the sauces on all the uh, salsas. Yeah, that's Black Cherry. All right, let's give it a little dip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. I'm probably gonna lose a little bit of the rice in there. Let's give it a shot and try in the new salsa or maybe give it a little pour. I don't wanna spill in the car. Ooh, all right, there we go. Check it out right there. Don't wanna drop any. Check it out. Chipotle black cherry kinda, you see it kinda glistening in the sun right there. Let's go. Oh, that's different. That's the sweetness of the cherries. Nice little uh, spice of the chipotle. That's good. That's good. Reminds me of a nice um, salsa you would have in the summertime. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, what was it? The pineapple or peach flavored uh, Newman's salsa. I don't think they make it anymore, but um, that's good. Um, I don't know. Let's try another one of the sauces. All right, so this one, this one looks kind of deadly right here. This one's called like rock and roll. I'll have to double check. I'll throw it up on the screen. Uh, that just is a very watery uh, salsa. And unlike all the other salsas, this was just in a bottle by itself at the end of the line. Uh, so I put it into this and it showed that it was spicy. So let me give it a smell. Yikes. Okay, I'm doing a small dip of this because that smells lethal. That might be a little bit more than I wanted. All right, so here we go. Rock and roll, whoa. Don't try this at home, kids. I'm a professional. Ooh, okay. A little too spicy for me. Spice level is up there. Ooh, okay. Okay, this is hot. If you like spice, rock and roll. All right, so listen, uh, out of those two salsas, I preferred the black cherry. Uh, so right here are the three new sauces and they have these behind the counter. You could add these to your bowl or add these to your burrito. Uh, this one right here is the uh, poblano crema, roasted poblano peppers, avocado, sour cream, garlic, and lime juice. This looks amazing. I think Ryan even said that this was a favorite of uh, customers since they brought it out about a week ago. Uh, so let's go, Poblano Crema. All right, right here, I don't wanna drop any. Almost, saved it, let's go. Oh, mm-hmm, thick. Creamy, nice little flavor of uh, poblano peppers. Kind of cooling it down a little bit with the sour cream. Oh yeah, hints of garlic. Not getting much lime, and I'm okay with that. That's a good sauce, wow. Um, all right, next one. All right, so this one I believe is the Moe's sauce. Uh, Greek yogurt, red wine, vinegar, and Southwest spices. I guess they now have their kind of um, original sauce right there. So let's go. <laughs> I'm excited. Getting a nice uh, burrito and nice little bonus uh, sauces. Let's give a little pour right here. Moe's sauce. Whoa. All right, here we go. Oh. Okay. This is right up there with a lot of the uh, specialty sauces at places, the orange sauce. Nice little spice. Southwest flair, thick. Get the creaminess of the Greek yogurt. That's good too. They're two for two. We got one more. Stay tuned. Wow, uh, I'm enjoying this visit uh, to Moe's. Uh, Kicking cayenne, three kinds of peppers, and a zesty uh, seasoning. This is saying it's hot. 
The uh, Mo's sauce, they said it was mild. Poblano crema, mild, and I will give them that. That is the uh, last uh, new sauce right there. Kind of see it right there. And we saved just enough for one uh, mouthful because uh, I got the whole other half that I will have uh, later in the day. Uh, here we go. Kicking cayenne. Dips it in. That's what we got going on. Let's go. Mm. Again, really nice flavors. Not too hot though. A little cayenne, but other than that, a couple other spices here and there. Thick. Three winners. Three winners. I'm going out on a limb. All right, so listen, um, if I have to give this whole experience a, a score, one to 100, it's a 95. We had great customer service. We had three great sauces. We had two very good salsas. I would prefer the uh, sauces over the salsas. Do a shot every time I say sauce or salsa in this video, you're on the floor. But I love the whole experience, a nice little uh, taste testing of all of the new sauces and salsas. And uh, at the same time, I had a nice double steak burrito with the queso on the inside. A very nice, actually not a very nice, a great lunch. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun putting it together and definitely go check out Moe's. Tell them the endorsement sent you because this, if you enjoy Moe's, you enjoy burritos, this is definitely uh, something to try with all the new sauces. Uh, 100%. So uh, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting a word on my channel out to the masses. In closing, Moe's. Hit up your boy. Hit up your boy. I want to be sponsored by Moe's because that is great. And they also have the new branding up. I'm loving the new branding over at Moe's. Uh, if you remember what it used to be to what it is now, it just gives you that feel, the colors with the corals and the kind of Arizona uh, colors and the print. Um, I'm a fan of it all. I'm a fan of it all. Moe's picking it up. And uh, that's it. Thank you for joining me. And we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.